emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again later? Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with the first video attempt using the GoPro Silver Edition Hero 3 camera so I can make hands-free videos for you guys and actually be able to work the equipment. Uh, this video is about a circuit card that I found in QST Magazine put out by the American Radio Relay League and it's a controller card. It has eight DC relays on it and it allows you to use the tones you hear when you press your push button telephone to turn these relays on and off. It's a what they call a DTMF or dual tone multi-frequency 8 decoder card and it's put out by a company called Intuitive Circuits and I'll put a link down below in the description box. But the idea here is if you have an audio device that will feed sound into this card and I actually soldered the connections here audio in and that's the, the voltage going in with commands from a keypad you can turn relays on and off so in this demonstration I have here is if let's say you have an automated radio station you're an amateur radio operator and you're away from your station but you leave your station on all the time because you're maybe serving as a Winlink RMS station and you want to have a way to reboot a modem if it locks up you can use DTMF commands from a keypad on a radio to remotely turn your radio station equipment on and off. So hypothetically, let's say your modem locked up, you're away from your station, you want to reset it. So you want to be able to turn it on and off and get it to reboot. So what I have set up here in this configuration for this example, I'm only powering one device, that's Relay 1, but I have my Pactor USB modem hooked up to the DC battery here, which you've seen before in other videos and this card is actually being fed by the ocean radio I actually have the connection in the side that connection comes across here to the audio in and it's monitoring a specific frequency so with this Yesu handheld I'm going to go ahead and send tones to it and turn this device on remotely by controlling this relay card so I'm going to key it up I'm going to identify my call sign in my station let people know what I'm doing and then I'll go ahead and activate this relay turning on that modem. This is K testing, a remote activation automated relay card. And now I'll put the, my password that I set in there. And now I turned that relay on. And you can see the modem's actually powering up now. So I did that via RF or radio frequency link from this handheld to the ocean radio and turning on that card and activating that modem. So I would probably leave this in a default condition in a remote configuration. Let's say this was a an RMS station on the Windlink system but this modem locked up or something went wrong. What I could actually do here is come in and key up the radio. This is K activating the automation relay card. Put the tones in and I actually turned that relay off the modem power is off I key up the radio and I turn that modem back on and that will allow that modem to reset now what I really wanted to test for you guys and I didn't figure out how to do it was use the second relay here to control the reset switch on my computer up there because when this would be all together in a, a station this modem over here would be connected to that computer and maybe the computer locks up so in theory you could come in with RF radio frequency down here on the relay card and momentarily turn that relay on and off simulating you actually physically pushing the button on the computer and resetting it so if the computer locked up you could remotely reset that computer but there's lots of functionality here you can do with automating a radio station to remotely come in and turn devices on and off and reset them. So I'll go ahead and I'll turn all those relays on to give you an example. This is K remotely accessing a DTMF control card. Relay 2 is on. Relay 3 is on. Relay 4 is on. 
Relay 5. Relay 6. Relay 7. And Relay 8. So I think if you can see this here, again I apologize for the camera, I'm working with it. And over here in the peripheral I have the iPhone linked via Wi-Fi to the camera and it's supposed to give you the view angle of what the headset's seeing. So I have all the relays turned on, but again, let's say I need to reset that modem. I can come in here, cable accessing a remote DTMF control card. And now I turn that modem off. And now the modem's turning back on. For those of you who are building stations or have stations and looking for ways to remotely control the devices in your stations, such as modems or computers or power supplies and things of that nature to have remote access and control of your radio equipment, uh, this is a pretty neat device. Uh, I think this card was $119 and it was pretty easy to program and as you can see it's pretty easy to operate. Again, it's just DTMF commands and the manual is very clear on how to get this thing set up and configured when setting it up, but I think it's a neat device and offers some options to control equipment within your amateur radio station so if you have problems and you're not near it you can reset devices and try to get that station back up on the air and as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prep